So I've just been looking at the new Photos app from Apple, the replacement for iPhoto, and it's a fun little app um, and has some nice features. The, the gestures are really quite nice. Um, but I found something which makes it a lot more useful for me, and that is uh, when you go into the edit window here, you've got your various edit controls that, you know, the magic enhance, which sometimes does something, and um, uh, these very simple controls down here, including adjust. And adjust lets you change the brightness and, uh, and the amount of saturation and so forth. What I nearly missed was that all of these have a lot more information behind them. So if you click the um, down arrow here, you get much more control of individual things like the black point um, and you know, pick the highlights whether you want the sky to look brighter. Uh, cloud definition and so on. So you've got much more of the sort of controls here that you would get in a higher end um, editor. Similarly for color, saturation, contrast, color cast here, black and white likewise there's some um, some more controls on the black and white if you expand or contract those things. So that's a good starting point but the place where the power really comes is when you click add here and you discover that there are all these extra controls so I never want to edit photos without a histogram. This is great. I can add a histogram here. What else have I got? Well let's go through and turn all of these on. Sharpening tools, definition controls, noise reduction, vignette controls, white balance, very useful including a dropper tool there, and levels controls. I don't know if you can reorder these. I'm not sure that you can, um, but perhaps you can if you um, if you add them in a different order. But this means that, so here we've got a bit of a vignette on this. I can turn that down. I can make a lighter vignette, but I can, on this I don't really want any. I'll go to about there. Um, but this is proper levels control. There are various things you can tweak here to set with your uh, levels of luminance, RGB, different color channels, and so on. This allows me to take the midpoint and shift that around. Um, th th so there's, um, and to see the histogram as I, at the top as I do so. Um, so there's all sorts of actually reasonably powerful image editing tools in here. They're just hidden by default. Um, and I thought that was fairly easy to miss, so I thought it might be useful to point it out to people. Hope that's handy.